Hello, people. Welcome to The Vinyl Casket, home to the lamest taste. One word, Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, The Vinyl Casket. You can subscribe, like, and comment, follow, and hit the bell over there for much, much more. This is my weekly comic book review. If you don't know and you're new to the channel, you can check out the, all the playlists on the channel, but most importantly, the weekly comic book review playlist uh which has cataloged the last three years of me doing reviews on every single week my personal pull list of what i picked up and where you can watch my journey of drops and pickups and reviews across the last three years of me collecting uh from i think i started doing reviews and started i started recollecting at the end of 2019 i started doing reviews in the middle of 2020 um so you can catalog all that and you could check that out but this is what we do every single wednesday we get our books from a local shop we we read them we bag and board them take photos in the light box for the instagram at the vinyl casket where we do mini write-ups and mini reviews and stuff talk about the artwork covers overall series stuff it's really cool over there check me out over there you can follow uh and then we sit down with you guys on twitch and youtube and we do a breakdown we go uh indies marvel dc we rate each one one through ten and then they give you a top five or top three depending on how many books we have that week um the pull list is going to get a lot smaller right now uh for the foreseeable future so you're going to see lots of con consistent drops you're going to see me have to really get my grading criteria um, under wraps like right now you see lots of sevens to eights uh that's usually because obviously i'm pulling stuff that i want and stuff that i enjoy and rarely do you see something dip and if you do see a dip below a seven it's usually gone um the grading is going to get broken down a little bit more so that i have more of a range between stuff i always thought uh I do my movies and, and and shows one through five, and I always like to do one through ten on comics because I wanted range, and I haven't really been doing it like that. So you're gonna see things shift a little bit. So let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna start off with indies this week. We only have three indies, all from Image and all in the same universe, which is interesting. So we'll start off with issue uh, seventeen of Rogue Sun. So obviously, I just said they're all in the same universe. They're all in the Massiverse. Uh, they're all super massive books, all connected to Radiant Black. And this is Rogue Sun, issue 12. Uh, 12, 17. Issue 17. Awesome cover. This is an A cover off the bat. Amazing. This series has been something that I was really excited about after the first super massive. Um, and has done nothing, but there was a few, like, not low points, but like flat lines of a really consistent build, whatever. But since then, it's been a really interesting story. I can't believe it's been almost 20 issues. It feels like there ha like no time has passed, but at the same time, there's been so much small progress in this book. Like I didn't realize until this issue how many villains he kind of encountered. And how many mini story plots have been laced throughout this to build into the, this event? Not event, but this like plot line, this build right here. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I like the breakdown. I like the extra stories. I'm having a lot of fun with this. The artwork is awesome, but it's not the most um, forward moving book. We haven't seen a lot of progress. It does take the storyline has been dragging out, but I have been enjoying it. So out of 10, what are we going to give this? I just said it, everything's going to get a little bit more crucial, a little bit more spread. I'm going to give this a, uh, a six and a half. If I would do it, if I wasn't going through halves, I'd go 6.8. Uh, so yeah, I, you know what? I'll do that. I'm going to do a 6.8. I believe that this is on the verge of entering that seven territory, which I think is a great book. Eight is an amazing book, and nine is just like stellar. Obviously, a 10 would be a perfect book, uh, but there's always room, so there's no such thing as a perfect book, as of now. Um, so yeah, 6.8, we're going to move on. Um, if you wanted a little bit of a breakdown of the story, um, Dylan is the is the son and grandson of two rogue sons. He's inside the, the Sunstone or this, the original rogue son, this knight has taken over his body. And then his grandfather's taken over a body. And they, 
it's like a lot of weird stuff going on. It's a very convoluted plot, but it is a lot of fun. So if you enjoy that stuff and you enjoy superhumans and stuff, superpowers and stuff, get into it. It's cool. Moving on to issues 27 and 27.5, parts 4 and 5 of The Catalyst Wars. This is two other books in the Massiverse. This is Radiant Black. Um, So this is issue... 70 this is issue 70 uh, 27 and this is issue 27.5 uh part four and part five of the callous wars so if you don't know in issue 25 the book split with two alternate endings um the a cover had an ending and the b cover had an ending they both ended the exact same book but at the end one uh one of the main characters the best friends one got uh the radiant back powers the in the other book the other one did so in 26 and 26.5 we got to see two similar but also very different storylines play out in the same way in the, towards the same direction this issue split those storylines in completely different ways um uh i believe in 26 we had radiant pick radiant pink made an appearance in the the main number but in this one radiant red made an appearance in the point five and that's really cool and very interesting and i'm actually having a stellar time uh with how they're playing this out i thought it was going to be a covers and b covers but they decided to go with the point fives and make them consistent parts so it makes it feel like you have to get the books which is annoying but both of these obviously when you put the covers together they they do this you could also i believe you could do this oh or you line them up together i think this is the better way of doing it yeah that that looks way better oh that lines up perfectly so the covers line up like that. Um, yeah, I had a blast reading this. I'm going to give them together. I'm going to give them a... I, this is this is an eight. This is an eight book. Um, just because of the creativity of the storyline and where they're going with this, it's an eight. Okay, moving on. Wow, that much time already went by. Um, we have Marvel. We're going into Gang War. This is Miles Morales, Spider-Man, issue 13. Uh, a lot of fun here. Uh, I do think this is a little stale. I was expecting to move a little bit more into the Hobgoblin story, but we didn't. We got some like consistent things happening and things that have been laced without. I like the therapy thing is back. It was gone for a couple issues, but it's back. I'm really enjoying this book. I'm really enjoying this title. I'm going to give this a 7. Okay, moving on to DC. We have three books from DC. We're going to start with issue two, a cover of Speed Force, uh, a book that I've been waiting for for such a long time. I love the first issue, and the second issue was no different. I love the usage of these characters. I like the characters that they're choosing. I like how they're being used. Mr. Terrific, him getting a therapy tra session here was really great, being that he's like a main character in the main Flash title now. It's really cool that he was able to sink into here and get some development. I had a lot of fun with this. I think this is an awesome issue. Roundhouse got like some crazy development out of thin air out here. Awesome, awesome title. This is going to get a 6.5. Okay, moving on, we have issue two of Outsiders. This is a cover B cardstock variant. Um, so this is on the fence with me. It was a great book. It's a great concept. I like how each issue seems like it's going to be like a one-shot storyline that kind of interconnects. Like, I think the next issue if this is going to still go, but I like how, like, there's going to be mini arcs. Like the like different mysteries and taking on things and these um the people they run into in this issue where it was interesting and corny and campy and fun, uh but it's missing something for me and I don't know if it's the artwork or if it's the strength of the story or the pacing or something's missing is off for me. Um, I'm gonna give this a a six, almost into the fives. Because I like it, I had fun, but it definitely isn't as strong as it needs to be. And then finally, we have the 
I love this. I love this series. I'm sad because it seems like this is the last issue, even though it didn't say uh, on the site I use. It didn't say final issue, but it seems like it is. Uh, this is World's Finest Teen Titans uh, issue six. Uh, variant cover. I love this cover. Uh, and I love this series. I thought this series was awesome. It was fun. Mark Wade really took the original Teen Titans team and modernized them in what if they, for the ages that all these characters are now, what would society have been like when they were actually kids if they were in the right time, you know? Oh, they're all in their 20s now? When they were... 13 14 15 16 aged them down oh the originally they were in like the golden age right they wouldn't have ha they didn't have cell phones drones streaming none of that all this stuff would have been relevant because they would have been in 2012 13 14 they would have been teenagers they would have been this and he modernized it, and the series is great. The Terror Titans was a great uh, villain set from la last issue. Um, I think the buildup and the origin story of of, uh, of Nightwing, of Dick Grayson revealing who he was to his team was great, and the interaction he had with Batman at the end of this issue was awesome. I really enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun. I would love to see more... Uh, world's finest teen titans you know them growing uh the introduction of of beast boy starfire uh cyborg raven um the um other characters like obviously we got artemis here like seeing her become a a, a more of a superhero person um getting uh Night Dick Grayson becoming Nightwing, the integration of the other Robins, uh, stuff like that in this art style and this uh take would be great. I really enjoy this, I'm having a blast. I'm gonna give this an 8.5. I think this deserves it, it's amazing. Uh, with that being said, guys, let's go. All right, so like it's very hard. I'm gonna do a top three because. There's only like there's six books. No, there's seven books, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm gonna do a top three. So obviously that's there. Um I don't think it's fair to do that. Okay. Personal opinion, personal opinion, personal opinion, personal opinion. Um Speed Force at three, the Radiant Black set at two, and then Teen Titans at one. And that is my pull list for the week. Uh, no crazy drops yet. Uh, really awesome stories here. I had a blast. Check out the playlist. Check out, get in the comments. Let's talk about what you guys are reading, what you guys are into, all that stuff. This is the Vaughn Cast. Get home to Lamest Taste. All one word Instagram, Twitch, and YouTube, where you could subscribe, like, and comment. Hit the bell for much, much more. And do me a massive favor and stay lame.